Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, founder of Kids Aloud, and this is our May newsletter. We love listening to our parents' ideas, so I just wanted to update you on a few things that we've done in response to those. Um, firstly, baby sign. Um, lots of parents over the years have asked us to do baby sign with their children, and we've resisted because we don't like doing anything um, half-heartedly. We want to do something, we want to do it well. Um, but we have found somebody that we really trust now to deliver some really high quality Makaton training to the team. It's over four nights, so it's a big commitment, but we've gone for it, and we now have 12 um, qualified Makaton um, language experts within Kids Aloud. We will obviously over time have more but if it's something that you're interested in, in us doing with your child then please just have a chat to us and hopefully we'll be able to accommodate that. Um, the other thing is bank holiday swaps. You've um, mentioned to us that the new policy of having to take them within eight weeks is causing um, issues and we don't want that. We don't want unhappiness with our parents. So what we're going to do as a middle ground and we hope you're happy with this is that you now have 12 months to take them but you need to book them within eight weeks just to help us on the administration side. Um, presentationally they'll now show up on your invoice as a penny which is an absolutely nominal charge but it just helps us trace the bank holiday swap through the accounting system. Um, so we hope you're really happy with that now we've responded to that feedback. Um, ski skill is another thing. Um, parents were keen that their children got more time on the slopes and the way to do this is actually to have more ski instructors. So we've agreed with Chill Factor to have better ski instructor ratios on the kids allowed ski school. Um, it has changed the cost from £10 to £14 but we think it's worth it for that better experience and we make no money on this at all that's just a cost that we've passed straight through um, and then Millie's Trust um, we really respect the work that Millie's Trust are doing and they've absolutely raised the profile of first aid training within um, nurseries. We've always had a very, very high percentage of our colleagues first aid trained, but the little bit that fell down was new starters because they might have to wait a while to get their training. So we've now improved our induction process and they have their first day induction followed immediately on day two and day three in the company with their first day training. And actually Millie's Trust themselves have delivered that training and it's been a huge success. So that is is virtually getting us to 100% of our colleagues being first day trained, which we hope parents will see as a really positive thing. It's really lovely to be reminding parents about this, which is sun hats, because it means the sun has finally come out. But please, could every one of the children have a sun hat nicely, clearly named that we can leave at Kids Aloud to make sure we can keep them safe? We do provide sun cream, so no need to worry about that. However, some of our children do have allergies, so if your child needs a specific sun cream, just label it up and we'll apply that sun cream instead. Um, hopefully as well, our preschool two parents will have all heard from their schools, and I'm hoping you've got your school of choice. Your children will be starting reception class in September. We're going to write to you in the next uh, couple of weeks just asking you to let us know when you'll be leaving Kids Aloud. And we ask for at least 12 weeks notice because it is a planned um, leaving event. But the more notice you can give us, the better. And we will, of course, then use that information to plan some lovely parties and graduation ceremonies for the preschool two children. And um, another thing that we just want to remind our parents about is childcare vouchers. Please, can you make sure they're cleared funds no later than the 20th? 25th of the month. Anything after that and they will sit on your account and wait for the month after. Um, and usually it's just a simple case of setting up your standing order with the voucher provider for about the 20th of the month to make sure that we have the cleared funds by the 25th. So thanks for that. Our Christie Fields parents will be delighted to know that the new baby room is opening on the 19th of May um, and I know many of you will have taken less sessions than you ideally would have wanted because of the restricted availability at the Christie Fields site so you're getting first opportunity to book any additional sessions that you might want. Um, we've emailed you all so any of you that want to increase your contracted sessions just please get in touch with us before we offer those to the, um, the public. Um, and another thing dates for your diary is the many many workshops that we now offer in our parents which 
which you can now link to through the Kids Allowed website. Um, we have introduced a small charge of £5 for these workshops um, and let me explain why. It's not that we want to make money from you, it's just that we're trying to make sure that people come. Um, the free workshops, about 50% of parents that said that they were going to come don't turn up on the night but when there's a charge, and I don't know why this is, but when there's a charge virtually 100% attend. So um, what we're going to do as a gesture so that you know this isn't about us making money is that we are going to give um, that income to charity and that charity is likely to be Millie's Trust. And finally, I just want to say a huge congratulations to James and his team at our new Stockport Centre because um, their very first Ofsted inspection has secured an outstanding grade across the board, so we're absolutely delighted for him and the team. Mm -hmm.